I'm Ryan, a United States Marine Corps, 10 years, infantry, four deployments, two to Afghanistan, and, uh, and two MUSE. I was hit by an IED, 30 pounds. Instead of getting that direct pressure and getting ripped apart, it just kind of tossed me. Tried to walk back with my squad, pretty shooken up. They put me on a bird and sent me home. But the TBI is just a blur. The short-term memory, going to the store and you're, all of a sudden you're, you're in the aisle and you're, you don't remember what you're looking for. You're, you're present and you have the conversation, but there'll just be a piece of something that'll, that, that'll get lost. And I just felt stagnant at that point, and it, it, it had a huge effect on me. It was a sharp and sharp and quick decline. It started as anxiety and not being able to sleep and some insomnia grew into a pretty dark depression. I didn't even want to be around anyone. I was happy barricading myself in and just being alone in the dark. I was able to get cleared back on full duty and then redeployed in 2012. You don't have time to think, you're just working, you know, 24 hours a day, nonstop, 24 seven. And then, uh, then you get sent on quota and you get a break. And now all of a sudden I have this free time. I got time to think and reflect. And uh, before I knew it, it was doing some fairly reckless things. When I would start to, to drink or I'd go out or you know, disappear for a couple of days at a time, uh, you, you, you scare yourself. And I was sitting in my CO's office at the drill field and he just saw that there was something wrong. He's like, what, like what, what's going on with you? What's up? And I, and I just kind of broke down at that point. Was, you know, I'm having a hard time. He uh, went and talked to the colonel and him and, and our battalion commander, they, they got me in to, to get help. Really that first push to do something different and, and to help myself. So now it's that I'm in that transition over to the VA. What helped the most at first was someone listened to you and someone understood that you didn't feel like you were alone anymore. That initial like support of having one say, you know, it, it's normal, this is what happens. Your body went through something and this is the, the healing process. You make sure you, you, you have the tools you need and, and, the, and the support system there. I know when I'm having a tough time, I know what to do. I know I have the tools and the, and the, and the pieces in place to, 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 to catch you. I go to a lot of events, we do a lot of networking in the city with different veteran organizations, so I'm constantly around these guys and, and that feels good to stay connected. One of my friends had this idea, hey, let's do this event for, for, veterans, for veteran suicide after you know, losing one of my close friends and him losing um, another one of his Marines. And we put together this hike and it really turned into something um, overnight. And, uh, the feeling of helping other vets, like helping out my other brothers, that was that turned into be the best medicine. You do something nice for someone. You take care of somebody else. You become, you do something selfless. You make it not about you. You're gonna feel better. Whether you're Army, Marine Corps, Navy, whatever branch you're at, or officer enlisted, or 10 years or four years, at the end of it, we all share the title veteran. If, you, if you're having a tough time, we're here. We're family. Reach out.